making cars moves us. What moves you? Government of Guam Retirement Fund Board Chairman Joe T. San Augustine says to find ways to implement cost-saving measures and possibly reduce Gulf Guam's contributions to the retirement fund, they were required to turn in a study on affordable risks and alternatives Gulf Guam could take. What we're charged by law is to ask our actuarial uh, consultant who, who asks a certain question, what if uh, we reduce the man's salary for the future year. What if we do this and do various different scenarios? The study shows actuarial analyses of early retirement incentive programs, the issuance of a pension bond, and other retirement reforms. St. Augustine notes it's up to the legislature and governor to decide on Gulf Guam's future contributions to the retirement fund, but he cautions them of how this will impact employees. He mentions Gulf Guam contributes almost 30 percent, but that could be reduced. These people in the governor's office and the have to consider the political impact. We're talking about 12,000 employees, uh, and you're talking about people who have worked their life 24, 30 years of, of government services, and they're near retirement, and they expect, they know how much money they're going to make on the present plan, and any movement they made that this the proposal will come up would affect their retirement. St. Augustine gives an example of one proposed scenario where GovGuam seeks to decrease the disability benefit from 66 and two-thirds percent down to 50 percent. He explains what this may mean for a disability retiree that cannot work anymore. For instance, if he retires and he gets 66 and two-thirds of his salary, that's basically, let's say, $66 uh, of his, of his $100 a month. But by this scenario, that would be reduced down to 50 percent which means he's only getting in 10 or 15 dollars less per month. It's a small amount when you talk about it, but you would multiply 10 dollars times 20 years, or 10 dollars, the guy, the guy is making, say, expect to make 15,000, and uh, instead of 15,000, he's going to make only 10. Now, how are you going to live in that 10,000 and can't even work? The bottom line St. Augustine stresses is that although the fund worked with its actuary, financial advisors, and legal counsel, it does not take a position on any of the reforms. However, the retirement board can meet with them to help them understand the effects. The retirement fund has no position whether one, they're in favor of one plan or another plan. Uh, we're not the policymaker. It's the legislation of the government going to do that. They're, they're the ones going to pay the bill. Josh Tikenko, PNC News.